Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. It's uh, Chuck here, and we got a great list. There's 15 properties and uh, a couple real standouts, a couple things that definitely you should pay attention to, and some great discussion. So let's get to the first one. It's 1379 Costco, number 512, 2249. And if you think about it, there's a one bedroom at Maple Crossing on the first floor. This one's up on the fifth floor. Uh, maintenance fees are $170. Really, to buy this home, I mean, you're looking at probably. Gosh, I mean, no more than 1200 bucks a month. I mean, you can't even rent for this. So I think it's great. You get a granite countertop. You get hardwood floors. Uh, excellent price. So I truly believe a lot of times I think this is rhetoric, but when they say why pay rent when you can own, absolutely true with something like this. Uh, Mark Street's next one's at 384. And so it's a Hillsview end. It's 1510 square feet. It's built by Madame. And uh, it's kind of in the north part, a little bit closer to Derry and a little bit... Um, it would be east of Scott. We have uh, almost like a bigger croft side model, if you're familiar with that. And so the kitchen opens up to the dining room on the one side and then the family room just on the other. You can see the angled uh, countertop. And then we've got the uh, bathroom. I'm gonna close that toilet seat. That's what I would say to people. And you've got a pretty good lookout window on the basement level as well. So all in all, 384, you know, I, I still find that the, the price is in the sort of 350 to to probably 420, 430, towns and semis have really shot up. Uh, I, I don't know how much momentum they've got. I, you know, this is usually the price we see for more of the semi-detached, but it is an end unit. I have a feeling they're gonna do okay. So Ramshaw is at 418. It's a, it's a small detached home. I think this is the Baker model, 12, 1300 square feet, one full bathroom upstairs. And it looks like a, a laminate floor. There's your kitchen. There's enough room for a small table. And uh, then you've got the rooms upstairs. I think the thing that's going to push these guys up, there was a sale on Cooper that went more than asking, more than 420. Uh, they had a premium lot. They had a nice pie-shaped lot. But these guys have a finished basement. And that model, actually, it's, it's nice to have the finished basement because there's only that one room plus the kitchen on the main floor. So you can keep that room as something a little bit more formal than have the family chill out downstairs. So 418, I think, is, is bang on on price. And they're asking for an end of April closing. Uh, Elliott Crescent, 428.9. And so it's a side split. And the thing about old Milton right now, there's nothing for sale. There's one on Lawrence Scott's and now there's this one. And all the way up to about 480, there's really nothing. They're all conditionally sold. Uh, even going down probably to like 370, there's really nothing out there. So these guys are are nestled into a, a, a price range and, and a neighborhood that has a lot of demand, but just not a lot of supply at all. So uh, do I think it's a wow? I think there's some good living spaces. It's a great floor plan. I don't know if the inside is sort of move-in ready for most people, uh, but that's going to, I think this one's going to do pretty well. Uh, the th we've got a, a home in Dorset Park coming out, and it's on Woodward, and it's got four bedrooms. It's got a huge piece of land, finished basement, renovated kitchen. You're going to love it, and it's going to be just a few thousand more than this one. So it's going to hit hard, and we're going to put out on Monday. So I'm going to let you know about it. I'll try to give you a sneak preview on Sunday if I can get the photos in time. Okay, so Farlow Crescent is at 439.9, and so it's a Lindsay model. It's a four bedroom, so it's 1,800 square feet. And um, inside, it looks, again, like a laminate floor in here. It's nice, though. It's, it's neutral colors. The photos are nicely done. Some extra pantry space. They've got the California shutters here. Uh, just well done. I think they chose the right price. These models have definitely seen a nice little kick up as well. Uh, they were sort of in the 420 to 430 range at the end of 2011. And this almost seems like a deal these days. So June 7th is their magic date. Uh, Granky Place is at 474.9. It's a spirit plan for it's 1835 square feet. Uh, beautiful inside. That's a great view. So you come in the front door. You've got this little front room that you can use as an office or a formal living room. Then you've got a dining room, and you can see some great-looking hardwood floors. Uh, then you go through the dining room. You've got a family room. It's all very open concept, and then you've got your kitchen off to the side. One of the best staged versions of this home I've ever seen, and I think it compares pretty well. It doesn't have the granite countertop, but it compares well with stuff that's sold right in this price range, this exact model. So... 
they're going to do well, I think. That's I don't know if that really showcases much. I mean, it looks like upstairs maybe you've got a, a, a hardwood landing or something. So nice. The three bedrooms, nice. You've got a, um, a laundry upstairs in the three bedroom. I love it. I think it's a great price too. Eager uh, Road is actually the same price, but what you're getting is a double car garage, actually even bigger than the previous one. It's about 2,000 square feet and nothing wowed here. I mean, taking the cords down, I mean, there's just, there's there's opportunity here to, to showcase it a lot better, even taking this out less stuff on the countertops, but it looks like you have a granite counter. This one I think is a hidden gem and it's not gonna last long. It looks like there's some finished area in the basement, although the ceiling looks unfinished. So whenever somebody has a half finished basement, they're not gonna get nearly as much money. If they just took that extra couple thousand dollars, finished it up, then it then it's like rocket fuel. But I mean, a half finished basement, you get barely any value for it. Um, real hidden gem here. It looks just like there's stuff everywhere, but the actual bones, all brick, uh, double garage, size of the home, awesome stuff. So it, th this one's not going to last long, but jump on it. Don't get afraid of the pictures. This is good, good, good value. Okay, so Donnelly Street is at 479. Uh, about 1,900 square feet. It's called a Powell model, and uh, so it's on the east side of Donnelly, which means it backs onto James Snow, but the ground goes down and you have a walkout basement. So I find it's a bit of a trade-off. The walkout's probably worth between five and 10. You probably take a bit of a hit for the road. There is a really high fence there, so it does help to dampen the sound a bit. Uh, inside, it certainly looks nice. And with having the finished basement, they might do okay. I mean, again, we've seen some big sales for this model. We've seen the Mattamy 36-foot homes. This is kind of in Southeast Milton. Um, I, yeah, I think I think there's a chance here. I'm rooting for these guys. Sire Drive is at 494.9. Looks like they put an addition on 70 by 110 foot lot. It's on the north side of Sire, so you don't need to worry about backing onto dairy. Uh, nicely renovated kitchen. Usually the stuff up in the five nine or 494s, it's more likely to be a double car garage. So these guys are really banking on their renos to uh, to to give a return. The way I look at it. Um, in the last six months, they've done 80,000 in rentals. So if you've done that, most of the time people do that for a more longer term. They don't just do it to sell, not at that volume of, of price. So I wonder if something happened. Uh, it, it may be a clue that there's some motivation there. Again, I don't know anything about it, but I'm just saying sometimes when I see things like that or a basement that's half done and all of a sudden they put up on the market, it makes me wonder, was there something in life that happened that caused them to have to sort of, you know, sell quicker than expected? Miller Way is at 533.9. And uh, interesting thing about this home, I'll show that to you in a sec. So you come in the home, it's almost on the corner of Miller and Derry. So I think there's going to be traffic here. I mean, you're definitely going to hear road noise. There's laminate, or not laminate, parquet floor here. And I'll mention that in just a second. I look at something like this, there's no indication of how big it is, uh, but if it's, I, I mean, the one that we profiled on Eager, I know that's a three bedroom, it's a four bedroom, but I, I look at that for 50,000 less, there's no question. Now, here's the, the question that I have for you is, would you rather offer up a $3,000 flooring credit or would you rather actually just do the floors in your home before you sell it? My personal thoughts, do the floors. You can you can hit it neutral enough that you're going to appeal to a wide enough audience. And seeing is believing in real estate. And if somebody goes to the home, they just can't picture three thousand dollars compared to five hundred thirty three thousand. I mean that can get worked into negotiation. But if you if you actually have the physical proof in the home that there there's there's a floor there that somebody would like, I just think you're probably better off. So I appreciate that flooring credit. I don't know how much that's going to matter to a lot of buyers because, I mean, it's such a, such a small amount compared to the uh, the asking price. Kingsway plays 574.5. Kingsway is an excellent street. Uh, a lot of big mature trees there. It's uh, If you don't live on Kingsway, you basically don't go on it. Uh, 
66 by 118. Looks like a renovated bungalow. It's three bedrooms. There's a finished basement. Remember, a finished basement on a bungalow is much bigger because the two stories, you're getting actually about double the size in the basement on, on one of these bungalows. So wait for the photos on that one. It looks really, really nice. Um, Five seventy nine uh, is the price on Gorham Way, and Gorham is one of my favorite streets. There's a park right at the end of the street. Uh, I've got a bunch of clients on this street, and I love them all. So you know you've got great neighbors here. Uh, I, Milton Valley built this home, and I would just say there's a walkout from the top there. Definitely check this one out. I would say without even having pictures here, uh, I, I would say that this would definitely be something worth checking out. Now it says fridge and stove and basement. I, it doesn't look like there's any finished basement. The other thing that I see here is that it says an in-ground pool. If that's the case, that could really separate this home from a lot of the others. Either way, go jump on it. Okay, so sales court 689. We're jumping up about 100,000 now to 689. 3,200 square feet. And so it's got a balcony just off to the side. Nice looking home from the curb. You've got, uh, what a, it's probably one of my favorite floor plans. I really like the uh, the wild rose. And so you walk in the front door and then there's, there's a small room just around the corner here that's separate that you can use as a home office uh, or kids playroom. Then you've got your dining, family and kitchen. And everything looks upstairs and play, it, it, everything looks good. And then upstairs, you've got this room, which actually walks out to the balcony. You can see the covered balcony right there. Uh, great floor plan. Okay, so 689, they could get it. I mean, I've, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was close to that number. Look at Gutowski. We're talking about about 300 square feet smaller than that previous one for about 10,000 higher. About six feet extra width in the backyard, so about 48 feet wide, whereas the front is close to uh, 42, 43. Nice floor plan in here. The uh, the kitchen looks good. Uh, again, I don't know if being under 3,000 square feet and, and shooting for the 699, even if they've got some good upgrades, I, I don't know if that one's really going to hit. Um, we are seeing a lot of activity in that 6 to 7 range, which we didn't see last year. McPhail's at uh, 1075, at 1,075,000, and you've got a triple car garage. Uh, the kitchen, I don't know if somebody looking at a million bucks would look at this kitchen and say, well, you know, it's a little small. It's not as open concept, so I think that may affect them. Um, the uh, the basement is finished, which certainly helps because these homes are not small, and so finishing that basement probably was at least seventy thousand bucks to do, and you're looking at uh, upgraded countertops and all the rest of it. Nice looking front. It's on about an acre. Uh, great little subdivision up there. It's it's right kind of in uh, at, like in an estate uh, subdivision. So I don't know. I it's hard to say. It doesn't wow me for ten seventy five, but. Um, I, I think for, in my mind, there's probably some, some options that I would personally prefer, but you got to go see these things. Once you reach a certain point in the price range, if it kind of fits your criteria, you got to go check it out. So that's the list for today. Have a great day. And if you're coming to town on the weekend, definitely come check out a tour of Milton Homes. And then we also have the free government money seminar. We've got two of them at four o'clock and 630 on Monday. So just call us if, uh, if you want to sign up. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.